Uh, you watching the bread? Chess to the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess to the bread. Chess to the bread. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, I don't know what you're doing, boo. Because how many times do I have to tell you? When you subscribe to me, you get a fatter You get a bigger bank. You get that you been plotting on. Yeah. I'll be pinning the testimonial comments. Like, come on. Before we get into this video, I just want to go ahead and tell y'all. The girl got her hair done again, as you can see. Right now, I just let, like, the loose curls kind of do its thing. Like, the natural curl of the hair or whatever. But when I initially got this done, it was looking tea, y'all. My girl Ruby got me right. I already put y'all on to Ruby, but just for the new girlies here, if you're in the Atlanta area, metro Atlanta area, even if you buy the airport boo, go get your hair done by Ruby. When I take out my quick weave that Ruby does, it literally comes out like a U-part wig, which in the video you can see, this is like literally how it came out of my head. You can really just put it back on and like sew it in like a U-part wig. Who you know? As y'all can see by the title, this is the story of a girl's trip gone wrong or a girl's trip from hell. I don't really know what I'm gonna title it yet, but both of those titles will do. Cause literally, girl straight from hell, I'm not playing. I'm sorry if the AC is loud, baby. It is hot in Atlanta. And y'all see I got this beanie on my head, so I need the AC on. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Y'all know I be talking loud anyways, but. At this time, I was 19 years old. This is after the roommate horror story that I told you guys about when I had my apartment and I was living with my friend and we, I was going to college and stuff like that. This is after I had already um, moved out of that apartment and everything and was staying on my own still, um, but just not with a roommate anymore. I had a Finsta when I was 19, like a, a private Finsta for just my home girls and stuff. And I never really posted nothing inappropriate on my Finsta. Like I knew some girls that used, like no shade, but I knew some girls that used Finsta to like post their more like, you know, provocative stuff or whatever that they wouldn't want to post on their main pages. But I didn't use it like that. I just used it to like talk my say how I felt I remember specifically making this post on my spam and it was like uh, I remember it was like a picture of a beach it was like a multiple picture kind of post it had pictures of me and then it had like a picture of a beach and it had like a PND video on one of the slides and it was like I really need a vacation like I said something like I really need a va vacation right now I just need to go to the beach something like that I don't remember specifically what I said but I said something about needing a getaway I need to go to the beach type and it was just like a mood post. It was just like how I was feeling or whatever. I wasn't necessarily saying like I right now want to go on a trip. But my homegirl in this story, we're going to name her Sonic. A lot of y'all be catching on to the names like before I even explain it. Because y'all be in the comments like, I knew exactly why you named her that before you even explained it. Or sometimes I forget to explain it. And y'all be like, you didn't explain it. But girl, I know why. Like Y'all be knowing. We, we be here. Sonic ended up... um screenshotting that and sending the post that I made to my phone like she texted my phone with a screenshot of it and was like um just say the word she was like well I don't know if you were posting this as just like a mood post or whatever or if you did ass, but me and my homegirls already planned a trip to go to PCB in like two weeks we needed an extra girl anyway so if you want to come through um you're more than welcome to I can add you to the group chat or whatever y'all already know how I am I've already told y'all I'm not the type of person to like be too fond of going out on a trip with people I don't know I've done it but it's not like you know what I'm saying I don't think that's anybody's just preference or ideal situation i want to go out of town with people that i trust and that i know for real um but i did know sonic i've known sonic at this point from like seventh grade i probably met sonic in seventh grade so i kind of knew her for some years and sonic was one of the girls where it's like you know where you have those friends well like this is how i look at it you know you have those friends that there's stuff about them that you don't necessarily like i mean there's stuff about every person that you probably don't like you could probably find something you don't like about everybody but there are those friends where it's like there's certain things about their personalities or certain things about how they act where you could either choose to cut them off because of it or you choose to be their friend and accept them for that behavior type of thing right sonic was one of those friends where there were some questionable things about her that i just knew since like growing up knowing her and like going to school and stuff like that and she was fast i'm not gonna hold y'all like i'm not even shaming her which this comes into play in the story time which is why i'm even mentioning that because y'all know sonic not the restaurant sonic the hedgehog the fast running character yeah 
that's what I'm naming her after because she was a little fast like she always has been since I've known her and she was like one of those boy crazy kind of girls and she's not the only one in this story that should have the name Sonic but we're just gonna give her that name for the sake of this video obviously I wanted to ask Sonic a couple questions before I just like made my decision or told her yeah I'm down to go or whatever so in the messages before adding me to any group chat I was like um so who's all going like how many girls is it gonna be how long are y'all planning to stay out there where exactly are y'all trying to go um what's the budget for like the bnb can you just give me more details Cause the last thing i wanted her to do was to just put me in the group chat and then we all talk about it and then i'm like oh yeah nah i'm good off that bye yeah. like no i wanted to get the information first obviously and then make my decision before she puts me in any group chat with a bunch of I don't know I kind of asked her like what their plan was like if they had an itinerary already made or if they were still coming up with that just what type of vibe they were going for out there because y'all I know some girls that go to the beach and don't go on the beach like girls that go to the beach and don't like to get in the ocean girls that go to the beach and don't even like to go swimming whether it be in the ocean in the pool like don't plan on getting wet at all but go to the beach you know what I'm saying and those are not my type of girls to go to the beach with like if that's you if you can't swim or if you don't like the ocean you have a fear of the ocean but you like the scenery like i'm not judging you and there's nothing wrong with that but me personally if i'm going to the beach i want to be in the ocean i literally feel like i was a mermaid or a siren in my past life i'm literally about to get a siren tattoo like y'all know i'm obsessed with mermaids so i like i've always been in touch with like nature and the water i've always had the beach be like my safe space or whatever like i used to go to the beach with my family and then i started going to the beach as, as an adult and there is nothing like the feeling of the ocean for me like literally i don't know it's a deal breaker for me if i'm going to the ocean or going to the beach with people and they're not planning on spending majority of the time at least on the beach so i can get in the water it was like no we don't have an itinerary yet but like we were really just trying to do like picnic on the beach type of vibe drunk card games on the ocean like by the ocean and stuff like that because she was telling me like the bnbs that they were looking at both of them that we were going to choose from were beachfront so we were going to be on the beach a lot so her saying that that's all like that's all you had to tell me she didn't have to say nothing else she was like i think one night that we're out there we want to do like a, go to a club or a bar or something like that just one night to go out outside and then we wanted one day to an excursion day like i don't know if we could do like jet skiing or atv riding or something like just something fun she tells me that she tells me that it's her and three other girls and that she's been friends with them for a long time they're really good like girls to her they're they're really girls girls they're good friends of hers she's known them for so long so all of this information sounds really reassuring for me because like i said if it was just some she just met i would have been like i wouldn't have been down to go to be honest because i don't know like but just some advice for my younger girlies who haven't really started the girls trips and stuff yet don't go on a girls trip with anybody that you don't know even if it's your friends friends don't do it i'm just glad that we didn't go to miami because i mean it already got wicked in pcb but i feel like if we went to miami there's just something about miami and girls trips that is very much demonic and i feel like if we would have went to miami we probably wouldn't have made it out of miami no shade amen but yeah so she tells me all of that i agree she puts me in the group chat and we're all talking we're sending links to different bnbs that are beachfront and pcb we end up finding one agreeing on one book it boom so we're set y'all already know i go online i start shopping i'm probably on fashion over or whatever i was shopping on at the time i'm ordering all my little outfits my bathing suits i'm i'm paying for that express shipping baby like i'm ready so i'm all excited y'all like of course that's my home girl and like I was in the mindset of any friend of yours is a friend of mine like as long as they're nice to me and they you know what I'm saying they're good peoples and you good peoples to me so we shouldn't have no problems so the trip was going to be like two weeks out so I got added and then like a week after I've been in the group chat I ended up like messaging in the group chat and I was like hey guys like I found some stuff that kind of like went with what sonic told me y'all was trying to do um i know that y'all don't have an itinerary already so do y'all want me to make it like i can make the itinerary and we can just come up with like a an agreed budget that we all want to spend indivi individually on like the excursion and the food part and like i can find the places put get put together like a cute little itinerary and we can go from there immediately um sonic's homegirl we're gonna name her squidward in this um and just because y'all are gonna know just based off of personalities why i'm naming people the way y'all know how i do it so squidward and she looked like squidward like she looked just like that nigga. anyway so 
Squidward ended up messaging back in the group chat and she like, she's like, no, 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 we're not doing no itinerary. We just gonna go with the flow. Like we really not trying to like do all that. That's doing too much. So off rip, that was to me a little negative. Like you off rip, just like shutting down my idea which really to me is a good idea because tip, like I understand not everybody's an itinerary type of girly. Not everybody is with the whole like making a set plan for everything. Some people are go with the flow type of people, but in my opinion, if you're going on a trip with multiple people with at least more than three people, I think the best idea is to come up with at least somewhat of an itinerary so that we're not left to like go back and forth about what we're going to do when we're there and waste time that we could be enjoying ourselves you get what i'm saying like i don't know that's just me it wasn't really what she said it was the way that she said it it kind of seemed like she was just shutting me down on some like the, like the that's doing too much part really got it like doing too much going on a trip and making an itinerary is doing too much okay i'm not about to go back and forth about it y'all already obviously had this idea of a trip before i got involved so i'm not even gonna you know what i'm saying try to take the reins i was just trying to make it easier for everybody and try to make it the most enjoyable like make the most out of it so day of the trip or whatever i end up flying with sonic because sonic booked delta and my nana worked for delta at the time and i would get like discounted flights or whatever so i booked delta and the other girls um booked like a different airline i don't know what they booked but it was we wasn't all on the same flight i was on the same flight with sonic we end up all like meeting at the airport around the same time like we flew in to like all get there around the same time so we could go to the bnb together right so i don't know if y'all know anything about airbnbs i'm sure a lot of y'all do but most of the time when you book like an airbnb during the day or whatever especially if you like at the beach or whatever every time i've ever booked an airbnb check-in is usually around 3 p.m we're all like hey like you know this is our first time meeting we didn't meet up before the trip or anything like that so i'm just kind of introducing myself and everybody's energy at the airport is good like i'm not gonna say above and beyond such nice girls like i'm not gonna say all that but they weren't nasty didn't have no weird vibes didn't have no weird energy nothing like that so i'm like cool these girls are they seem like some nice girls so we end up um checking like on the airbnb app with our host saying like asking if it's okay for us to go ahead and go and they end up telling us like hey um our check-in i know it says um check-in is at 3 p.m but y'all can check in a little after 3 p.m if you need to and we're kind of just like nah like we're already here mind you we touched down at like 12 p.m like we got there at like noon so we're kind of like nah like we already are here and ready to go to the bnb and the host is like hey unfortunately we're not really done getting ready for y'all's check-in so if you guys can like find Find something to do to kill time because we don't really let our guests like they were real strict about not letting people check in early or whatever so we kind of just were all standing there looking shitty obviously this is something we should have probably thought about beforehand but we were all just like ready to go on the trip so i guess it was nobody's fault but we're all just kind of looking around like okay so what should we do so i'm hungry my back has like i told y'all always been big i'm always hungry so i was kind of just like suggesting we go get some lunch or something i'm like do y'all want to go find something to eat i don't know if y'all ate or what but like all i've had is some biscoff cookies on this plane i'm hungry we have all of our suitcases right i have two suitcases and a carry-on one of the girls has three suitcases like we have baggage we have luggage for real we're really lugging around some real luggage there was like a storage place right by the airport where you can leave your luggage or whatever and I, that's what i suggested y'all i've done it before i did it when i was in miami when i needed to wait around for my airbnb and nothing has ever happened with my luggage but squidward ends up like she's like nah i don't want to leave my luggage just around with anybody like i don't trust that i have expensive things in my bag like i don't want to just leave them anywhere i want to take them with us which granted some people don't play about their stuff. I mean, I don't play about my stuff either, but if it's a storage place for that purpose, I trust those places. You get what I'm saying? Like, I've never had a bad experience. Maybe she has, and that's why she's not fucking with it, or she knows someone who has. Like, I'm not really judging her for going against wanting to leave her stuff. It's her you know what i'm saying but it was just the way that she like quickly went against me again it was like damn girl like i'm just trying to come up with a solution baby like she kind of went a little hard in my opinion either we got to find a place to put our luggages or we're gonna have to lug it around everywhere we go and baby we gonna have to like take ubers and stuff I come up with another solution i'm like why don't we just eat something at the airport i'm like if we don't want to leave our luggages here and we also don't want to like go around with our luggages why don't we just find somewhere in the airport to eat and immediately Squidward's like, nah, I don't really want to eat here. Uh, airport
airport food don't be good and we already been here and like I don't want to just wait at the airport all damn day like I don't want to kill time at the airport like I want to like start the trip or whatever so I'm like okay I'm just gonna shut the up because obviously like you know what I'm saying tough crowd like damn after a minute of like all of us trying to figure out what we gonna do Squidward ends up saying like why don't we just ask the Airbnb host if we can like bring our luggages there to check them in somewhere and then leave the airbnb and i was like okay that's a good idea like i'm not even going against that idea i'm like cool maybe they have some type of storage area or something maybe they can accommodate our bags i mean they should have said that when we first said something about being ready if they did offer that but whatever so we end up messaging the airbnb host and we're kind of like hey we have a lot of luggage with us and i know there's a couple hours to kill but is there any way we can drop just our bags off and then leave while y'all finish preparing the house for check-in he's like yeah that's perfectly fine y'all are more than welcome to leave y'all's bags so we like cool like cool because everywhere we was gonna go like we made sure our airbnb had places close by like to eat little stores all of that stuff and there were stores walking distance food walking distance everything walking distance and if we ended up wanting to go to like a nightclub or on an excursion day that's what we would go take our ubers to a lot of estrogen in one room sometimes can just be a little you get what i'm saying so i wasn't really too much pressed about some little attitude like y'all know i'm not worried about that part like i don't care because i've always had them thumpers like i can fight like i don't care you know and I also wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to enjoy some beach vibes. You feel me? First situation happened. The first day that we're there, we're in the Airbnb. We're all chilling. We're like chilling before ending up finding out what we're going to do because we were all tired from the flight. You know, like the airport, it's something about the like planes and all of that. It just puts you out. Like even if the flight isn't long, even if you ain't at the airport that long, like something about it, when you get to that hotel or you get to that Airbnb, you need to relax. So we're just relaxing. We're chilling or whatever. And Squidward ends up like knocking on my door, coming to my room. We all had separate rooms except for um, Squidward and Blondie. I'm going to name her Blondie because she had like a blonde like you know those back braids i'm about to get those done my i think they're called the alicia keys braids lemonade braids i don't know but she had like those braids they were super cute too but they were blonde so we're gonna name her blondie and she also was a little airheaded so we're gonna call her that and squidward her and squidward were super close and they shared a room and then there was another girl that that was their friend she had an, her own room and her name was um we're gonna call her cheapskate we're gonna call her cheapskate and I had my own room and then Sonic had her own room and before y'all like well why does Squidward and Blondie have to share a room they didn't have to share a room there was an extra room like there was an extra like two rooms in that house it was a big ass beach house but they wanted to share a room they were just close like that I guess I don't know so that's how like the room situation was set up but and Squidward ended up knocking on my door coming in my room and she ended up chopping it up with me I was just laying down like chilling on my phone and she was like hey girl so I just wanted to come talk to you like get to know you you know what I'm saying and she starts asking me real personal questions about myself like she's like so do you have a boyfriend like do you you got a job like where you work at and like she's just like crying like i don't know like me i feel like we could have got to know each other just naturally throughout like hanging out and going and doing things all together and like maybe like playing a game to get to know each other or whatever but you just coming in my room to ask me questions about me it was giving nosy and the way she was asking was very condescending um because i don't know if i mentioned to y'all but i was 19 sonic was like 20 ish she was like 20 i was 19 um squidward was like 22 i think at the time and blondie was like 21 ish and i know that cheapskate was 19 as well so she was like the older one or whatever i don't know if she felt like she was big dog or whatever she was like big moose and i was little sis or something like i don't know but y'all already know i don't i don't like that shit and like the way she was prying into my life and stuff like that i didn't with so one thing about me baby i'm gonna give you false information if i feel like you just being nosy and just trying to be up in my business yeah because you're not gonna use my real tea against me because ho you thought you had my tea whole time you drink it this like please yeah. so i was just lying to her like i i had a man y'all i had a man and i was telling her like no i don't have nobody like you know i'm just giving her like whatever answer because like it's none of your business for real like what she was like oh you're single that's cute and like um oh I, I, I think I told her that I was working retail like I told her I had a retail job or whatever and she would be like oh you're working retail like you gotta start somewhere you know what I mean like just low-key like being backhanded with her responses whole time I mean I was working retail at the time but baby I was able to go on this last minute trip with y'all and I'm the youngest one for real and 
I was ready to make an itinerary and have a budget and everything. Like, I can keep up with you hoes. Like, I was good at saving my money. I've always been a money maker. Girl, don't sh my little retail job. My, re my little retail job does it for me. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, girl, what? I don't know what the motive was. I don't know if she, like, wanted my information to go back and, like, chop it up with Blondie about it or to, like, plot. I don't know what she wanted my information for, but, like, I was just telling her whatever, giving her real answers for certain stuff, fake answers for other things, and all of her responses were very much condescending, patronizing, weird, backhanded shit. So that was like something I kept in mind. I think this same night, that very evening, if not the next day, this is like the situation where they try to have like an isolation tactic. Like this is like the next situation that happened. So we ended up chilling in Airbnb again. This is the first night that we're trying to find something to go do. And I think that we ended up like seeing some party that was going on. I don't really remember how we figured it out. I don't know if we were there for spring break or like around the time of spring break and like we knew people that were out there. I don't really remember. I didn't really know nobody out there for real. So I was just going with the flow of what they were doing other than like what I suggested us to do because they didn't really want to do what I wanted to do. So um, I just know that this night that we had ended up having plans to go to like a beach party or whatever. Mind you, I was excited as hell to go because I was like, ooh, like we're finally going to be on the beach. Like the party was supposed to be on the beach and I was super excited. Like I had an outfit planned out for like that type of thing and everything. So um, we all agreed to, that we were going to go. And then when we went to go get ready, as I was getting ready, um, I don't know if it was Squidward or Blondie, but one of them came to the room or came to my bathroom and was like, hey, girl, like, um, I don't know if they said that the party ended up getting canceled or if they ended up deciding that they wanted to stay in. It was one of the two, but they were just like, we're not going anymore. Um, so we didn't want you to like keep getting ready because we're not going no more. And I was like, oh, OK, cool. Like, I'm going to get in the jacuzzi. We should all like get in the jacuzzi and drink or whatever and like play a game or something like we should all just vibe out in the jacuzzi i'm about to put my bathing suit on and they're like okay cool like i'll meet you in the jacuzzi or whatever so i go and grab sonic and sonic's like bet sonic puts her bathing suit on i get ready for the jacuzzi or whatever i get like a little wine bottle or whatever and then i hop in the jacuzzi with sonic me and sonic are just in the jacuzzi we kiki and we chopping it up we talking or whatever and i realized probably like 15 minutes 20 minutes go by that we're in the jacuzzi and the other girls aren't participating so i'm like hold up like y'all i was like already tipsy with my wine i was feeling good like i was enjoying myself i was a little bummed out about the party thing but i was like i'm still with some you know with some girls we got a drink we got games like a jacuzzi in the house are you dumb so i was like what the fuck so like it was like a little like outside area that had like screening and so, like it was like inside but it wasn't inside but anyway so um i ended up telling her i was like i'm gonna go get them like it's time it's time for us to like tee up like it's time to tee up so i get out the jacuzzi i put my little towel on whatever i walk into the house and i'm like calling everybody like if it was 2024 i would have been on some like oh, baddie, baddie, shot clock. Yo, it's to baddie, baddie, shot clock, bitch. i'm like y'all where y'all at like i'm calling everybody i'm like blondie cheapskate Squidward, where y'all at? Like, what are y'all doing? And I hear no response. So I go in like each of the girls' rooms and they're all gone. So I'm like, hmm. Hmm. I go back out to the jacuzzi. I get back in. I'm telling Sonic, I'm like, they're not here. I don't know where they at, but they're not here. And she just kind of like furrowing her brows like me. She's like, hmm? What do you mean they're not here? Like, where else would they be? So we're just kind of like, I don't know. So we're like bothered by it, but we're like, I'm not about to chase down no for one these are your friends these are not my friends probably like three four hours later the girls end up coming back they come out they come back toe up and they're just like oh we didn't want to bother y'all y'all was vibed out in the um jacuzzi we didn't want to like disturb y'all we didn't feel like y'all would want to get out the jacuzzi and get back ready and stuff um the party ended up being not canceled anymore they didn't cancel it no more we ended up going i don't remember if it was canceled or not y'all but if it was canceled if it was canceled at first they were like oh they ended up doing the party still or if it was them just not wanting to go out they said like oh we ended up wanting to go out basically i don't feel like they ever were not gonna go i feel like they just didn't want me to go or maybe me and sonic to go i don't know but it was just giving weird because like i was super excited which i was visibly excited in front of them like not on some like party oh my god i've never been to a party like no but it was like oh like hell yeah let's go like we think it lit like they could tell me and sonic were excited so i felt like that was really lame and i kind of like told sonic i was like i don't really with that and she was like i don't 
put it either but it wasn't like i was trying to stir up some drama or like really pin her against her friends so i was just like whatever like but that was real side eye but the next day we ended up deciding that we were gonna go to this little cute boutique i think it was like a trending one on instagram like i don't know but it was like they really wanted to go to this boutique and it was apparently like known or whatever and they had like jewelry in there and shoes i'm looking at stuff to buy like i'm i'm i probably bought like a couple outfits a couple bathing suits from in there and i look over at squidward and i see her like looking real interested in this necklace which mind you it looked like a necklace that i had at home like that i brought from home that was in the airbnb and i didn't even tell y'all but in my room in the airbnb on the nightstand like i had two nightstands next to the bed one of the nightstands had like my lashes my lip liner like stuff like that like my makeup type of stuff even though it was just like lip liners and lashes and glue and stuff like that it had all of that stuff on one and on the other one it had like my jewelry my bracelets my anklets my bang my bangles and all that stuff so it was just kind of laid out or whatever so i could pick which ones i wanted to wear with every fit because some stuff i needed gold jewelry for some stuff i needed silver jewelry for so um it looked like one that i had on the nightstand like it looked it wasn't the same one i could tell it wasn't the same one but it looked very similar it was one of those like charm bracelet looking necklaces like i can put on i can try to find a picture of the exact one i had i think i don't know if it was a tip i don't know what it was but it was one that was pretty expensive and it could also like get wet and all of that like it was real jewelry um but it, i just didn't have it on that day she's looking at it she's looking real interested in it and i don't know if she buys it or not like i didn't really like keep looking at her but i was just like oh that looks like the necklace i brought to the airbnb so we ended up leaving the boutique or whatever and then we go back to the bnb and when we go back to the bnb i ended up like just casually looking at the necklace because i don't know i guess it just reminded me of the necklace i don't know if i was going to go like put it on or what i was gonna do or if i was just looking for it because i like subconsciously felt some type of way or i don't know but when i went to go look i didn't see it so y'all already know i don't i don't be playing them thieving ass bitches. like nine times out of ten a bitch steal from me and i catch you stealing from me i'm going to do you in i'm going to slide your ass I ended up going around asking everybody have they seen my necklace i'm like i had it on the nightstand i don't know where it's at like do y'all know where it's at everybody's denying it so i end up going to like squidward or whatever and this bitch is literally wearing my necklace the girl is wearing my necklace in my face so i'm like that's my necklace like if you want to borrow something of mine or you want to wear something of mine then i need you to like ask me don't just go in the room and take like not everything is not just up for grabs he's just like oh i must have got this confused with the one that i got from the boutique because it looks so like similar and you probably took it off before you got in the jacuzzi or something like must have left it like by the table or something and i probably thought it was mine and put it on like i'm sorry like i wasn't trying to like i didn't go in your room or nothing and y'all she was lying because for one I didn't have that necklace on when I went to go get in the jacuzzi and if I did I wouldn't have taken it off because it doesn't turn green when it gets wet like it wasn't a fake necklace like it could get wet so I was like in my head I already knew but it was just a simple fact that she took it off and she ran it like that I didn't pop off on her or swing on her or nothing because it was like for one we in this nice ass b and we not even in Georgia right now like I don't want to have to do you like that and i'm just gonna keep my stuff away from everyone like you know what i'm saying like i know that it's in the room i'm in so nobody should even be going in there for real but i'm gonna make sure i put it up somewhere that it can't be found if somebody just decides to stumble across my room and it was the simple fact that she ran it like if she didn't run it we would have had to run it but it was just like something i kept in mind like i just knew i was living amongst the thief and i was like all right cool my favorite animal is the animal i was at this age like i literally just knew how lethal my hands were so like i really in situations where now i would like swing just off of like the strength of not being able to hold myself back because of certain disrespect like thieving and shit, like stealing from me in my face and shit like that like y'all already know that's the type of shit that i'll fight somebody about um but when I, I don't know i had more restraint at this age because it was like i just know i'm like so eager to do you in and i'm so i don't know it feels because like i was so young and so much more like just ready I just spared hoes sometimes i spared hoes we go on about our day i think we had like a little beach day um nothing really popped off from that we had like drinks on the beach stuff like that then we ended up walking back when it started to get dark we ended up getting like 
cute putting on like we had like um silk pajamas that we all like decided to buy for the trip even though i guess making an itinerary was doing too much but planning like coordinating pajama night was not doing too much but whatever so we had put on our little silk pajamas like we ready to crash basically right so while we like chilling i think we were all in like the living room about to put a movie on together or something like that we ended up getting a knock on the bnb door so we started getting worried that like maybe the bnb host had cameras because we were just kind of worried because there were certain rules that the bnb host had put on the like site or whatever on the listing that we weren't following obviously i didn't smoke or anything at that time but some of the girls did and they weren't smoking in the bnb they were smoking like in the backyard and there were rules of like no smoking on the property at all and so we were just worried that the host was gonna like run up on our ass like we didn't know what was going on who was knocking at the door like because who the f could it be knocking at the door cheapskate goes to go answer the door and when she opens the door it's a dude so I'm looking confused because I know our Airbnb host is the color of my palm and the dude that was at the door was definitely a dark skinned man. So I was like, who is this? Like, I've never seen this man before. Like, who are we about to get robbed? Are we about to get trafficked? Are we about to get kidnapped? What's going on? So I'm looking kind of like nervous. Like, I'm looking like... Who is that? And everybody else except for Sonic is kind of looking like not confused like they're not looking like who is this nigga they're kind of like smiling and they're just like hey like they already know him so mm. i'm like what's going on here we're gonna name this boy rando just because he was literally a random nigga like i did not know who he was but we're gonna call him rando so apparently rando was a dude that squidward had met at the beach when we were there earlier drinking and stuff and mind you when we go to the beach we do not all just be building a sandcastle you know what i'm saying like uh blondie be reading on her book squidward be scrolling on, on her phone i'd be on my phone or i'd be in the water me and sonic be in the water together sonic be going and finding a drink stand or something like we all be doing different things or whatever right so apparently squidward had gone off while we were at the beach and met this dude rando and was talking to him and flirting with him and you know exchanging messages with him throughout the night and stuff and i guess ended up telling him where we were staying at so i don't know if he popped up or if she told him to come over but she didn't tell none of us about it you know what i'm saying like you know i don't really like it that we're having a girl trip and y'all are ra inviting randoms over to the b and b because it's just not safe in general but it was more so the principle of her not really telling any of us rather than just like saying hey i met this dude and i want him to come see me like are y'all cool with that or at least just letting us know that you invited him and somebody knows where we laying our heads at you get what i'm saying so we were all except for her and blondie for some reason she invites him in she gives him some some to drink or whatever we all watching movies and stuff and he kind of starts flirting with everybody like he's just like i don't know if it's the liquor or what but he's just like y'all are all so bad like y'all are just some bad i never seen so many bad in one house like um are y'all all single like just talking to us all like he was choosing up like he was trying to like find which one he wanted like this is not one more chance. Like we are not all about to fight for you. Squidward ends up getting mad and kicking him out. And y'all, as he's as he's leaving, I remember he said something disrespectful. Like he's like, "There's plenty of fish in the sea, baby." Like, like I'm not tripping. Like he left on some cocky. Like he did not care. And that really hurt Squidward's ego. I think. Like she obviously didn't like that he was flirting with all of us. But like him not caring to get kicked out on some like, okay, I don't care. There's there's a bunch of hoes everywhere. Basically. She did not like that very much, y'all. She did not like it. And, like, now that I'm thinking about it, when he was flirting with all of us, Blondie, Blondie was responding to some of his questions. Like, she was the only one kind of engaged in conversation with him and responding to his, like, questions and stuff like that. And all of us were kind of just, like, brushing him off. So, keep that in mind. Like, that was a little, like, I don't know. And Blondie and Squidward are the closest out of the bunch. So, this is where stuff starts to get messy where I really tried to just mind my business and stay out of it because like y'all are gonna be so proud of me when I tell y'all this because I really tried to avoid it. So we at the beach again, we having like a beach day. We were probably there this day from like one to like eight or nine when the sun went down or whatever. Cause it was like obviously the time for time for the beach. Like it was the season of going to the beach. I don't know if it was summer or spring or whatever, but it started getting darker later. So we're like, getting hungry and stuff and the type of person i am y'all when i go to the beach i bring a cooler i got sandwiches i got chips i got sodas or i got water i got 
lick I got snacks like you know what I'm saying I don't just go to the beach empty-handed like I know I need to be hydrated I know I'm gonna be hungry so I wasn't just used to how we were just walking to the beach with just chairs or whatever but like I guess everybody was on some like well if we get hungry we can just walk um, back to the house but like in that heat that walk was like a walk you get what I'm saying like it's hot if you hungry as hell or thirsty as hell you really want to walk all the way to the B&B to get it rather than bringing it so while we were at the beach i was like y'all i'm just gonna go get a cooler because we were planning on being there for some more hours and i was like i'm hungry i know some of y'all hoes would be eating right now if we had a cooler right here so i'm gonna go make us some sandwiches and, and bring a cooler back and they were like all right bet cool so i ended up walking back to the bnb mind you um sonic was in the water squidward was like by me and cheapskate was by me and blondie was like getting a drink I don't know where she was. I don't know if she was back at the house or if she was like at the one of the stands. Cause like if you walk down the beach, there were stands, people selling like lemonade, people selling little like stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I didn't know where Blondie was at, but Squidward and Cheapskate were like, okay, that's fine. Like go get us some stuff basically y'all. Like, okay, little Aaron girl, go, go make us some sandwiches. So I ended up going like walking back to the house and y'all as I'm walking back in the Airbnb I hear voices or whatever and like the way that it was is like you walk I walked in through like the kitchen door like there was like an entrance by the kitchen and it was like a nice ass kitchen and you can't really see into the living room unless you like peer past like these pillar type of things or whatever I don't really know like the wall was blocking it you had to like look past the wall to look into the living room but I heard like noises like laughter and coming from the living room so I kind of peer in there and I didn't think nobody saw me like I, it didn't look like nobody saw me but I ended up seeing Blondie in there with Rando they're talking they're kikiing like they're like drinking and they're on the couch they're not like naked or nothing like that it's not like nothing crazy like that I didn't walk in on them like bumping but they were a little too close for comfort if you ask me and they were kikiing and drinking and nobody knew that she was doing this so i was like mm. and y'all i ended up like leaving out because i don't know i felt like hella awkward i didn't want her to know that i knew i didn't want to be involved in that i didn't want no parts so i kind of just like backed out before um anybody could see me so i thought and i just went back to the beach or whatever and when i got when i went back obviously i went back empty-handed and blondie and squidward or not blondie squidward and cheapskate were just like oh what happened like what happened and i was like y'all i don't know like I got hot and I just came back like I don't know I came up with the stupidest lie I remember it was so stupid um because like literally the walk was not like the walk was probably like two minutes and I came back after like 10 or like seven like you know like it just didn't make sense that I like didn't make it all the way there and ended up walking back because I was hot but that's all I could think of so I was just like I don't know like I don't know y'all I just got hot and came back and they were just like okay but they didn't press me obviously because I didn't have to go make shit but it was just kind of like they were kind of just looking at me like girl what did you talk about and I know because it didn't really make no sense we ended up like spending the rest of the day at the beach Blondie ended up popping back up around us and I was just kind of looking at her like girl like i know something you don't know <laughs> like i know something that you don't think i know but i know and she wasn't really looking at me or nothing so i didn't think nothing of it and we ended up all going back to the bnb that night boom sure enough that night we ended up chilling i ended up going back, back to my room i think sonic was in my room and we were watching something in there and the other girls were like showering and just doing their own thing and me and sonic ended up hearing commotion coming from one of the girls rooms so we get up, we go out there. It was giving like we were on Bad Girls Club, y'all. This could not have been real life. This could not have been a girl's trip. This was definitely baddies, like baddies 2020. We ended up going out there and Squidward and Blondie are going back and forth. They're screaming at each other loud, like screaming like they're about to fight type shit. And I guess like it ended up coming up later um, after they got done arguing, but I guess Squidward was in it was using um Blondie's phone because like like I said they're super close I guess she had her password I don't know if she was using it while she was in the shower I don't know but she was using her phone and I guess she ended up coming across messages between Blondie and Rando so and like in the messages I guess it was revealing that they had linked up or whatever and they were about to fight about it like literally Squidward was like you're weird like you see that I met him and I was with him and he came to the house on some weird sh and then you ended up flirting with him like what is wrong with you ho like that is some weird ass shit I'll never forgive you for that because it's just a principle and 
Blondie ends up like playing it off like you tripping like that is not your man like we literally on vacation he's just a fling like he's not nobody's man for real he's really just fair game like I don't know why you tripping like but if you want me to stop talking to him I'll stop talking to him like fuck it I didn't even do nothing with him and y'all I really don't believe that because how long she was there after I left out was a while like a while and nobody was really questioning where she was at because I don't know maybe she said like maybe I missed it where she was like I'll be right back or I'm gonna go back to the crib like I don't know what I don't know what possessed her to go do that and take that risk but like they were going back and forth but luckily in the argument I didn't get I didn't get brought up so I confirmed in my head that she didn't see me um so I was just kind of acting shocked like I was acting like I didn't know nothing like I was like <laughs> like you know me and me and Sonic are like so we over here mediating that and like they about to like fight like phys physically fight but we ended up separating them before they could fight and then they go in their own set like they ended up going one of the girls ended up going in one of the empty rooms like they did not want to sleep together or like be in the same room and that rest of the night was kind of like done like me and sonic ended up just going and finishing watching movies and stuff and we didn't hear nothing from the rest of the girls and i think cheapskate ended up in like joining us to watch movies and stuff and them girls were just i guess taking a breather i don't know for the rest of the night but that was that situation crazy y'all like i should have just packed my bags that night and been like this is not the kind of girls i want to be around but it really wasn't pre like it wasn't really affecting me too much because i was enjoying the beach like a lot like i was really enjoying myself being on the beach and sonic wasn't pissing me off so i was like y'all hoes is weird i'll never hang out with y'all again but like i'm not it was nothing for me to be like really upset about me and sonic ended up like mediating everything and the girls ended up like semi making up they wasn't really like acting like the best of friends but they went back in the same room and i guess they agreed like that they both were gonna stop talking to rando on some weird shit. i don't really know but we ended up all deciding that we were gonna go to a bar because we hadn't gone out at all like i kind of like i think i was the one who brought it up i was like y'all what happened to like, excursion day or like, going to get drinks or whatever going to a club or are we just gonna stick to chilling at the house because i'm cool with that we should come up with something to do at the house if we're gonna be at the house so the girls are kind of like nah we want to go out somewhere like get cute and go out and eat and go to a bar or whatever so let's go to a bar when i suggested doing like an excursion or something like that cheapskate was like i don't really want to do excursions no more y'all because to be honest the bnb was expensive and i really like don't feel like spending no extra money on extra stuff so we can just go to a bar or something but i don't really want to do excursions no more which y'all i don't know if maybe she budgeted wrong or something like that because we all talked about how even though we weren't making an itinerary we wanted to like 100 percent do excursion day um like that was like the the most fun day that we were probably gonna end up having so when she said that everybody was kind of blown like every single person sonic down to squidward everybody was like what do you mean like we all said we was gonna do excursions she was like well if y'all go do excursions i'm just gonna stay back at the airbnb because i really don't want to spend the money and so we all just ended up saying f it and like deciding that we would just not do excursion day that we would do like our last day on the beach and do games and stuff on the beach um and that tonight we would just go out to the, a bar or something and that's how she got the name cheapskate because to me that was on some cheap sh because like y'all she was spending the most money when we went to the bar she was spending the most money on the beach when we were like she was just picking and choosing what she wanted to spend her money on and when it came down to like paying her share of stuff she really wasn't trying to pay it like and even sonic told me that she paid the least out of everyone for the bnb &B. like we all paid the same amount and she paid less because she was tripping on the price or whatever like she was the only one being cheap so that's why i named her that but anyway so we end up going to the bar and when we get there we are ordering our drinks and stuff like that and Squidward ends up deciding that she wants to order a round of shots and play a drinking game like at the bar a drinking game at the bar which that's a little crazy I don't know why we agreed on that we were already lit when we agreed on it but we decided to play it it was like truth or drink she wanted to play y'all y'all know in my story time it's like I just love to play truth or drink and get messy and I don't know what's up with that but she ended up ordering a round like a couple rounds she probably ordered like two rounds of shot and basically she was like saying we're gonna ask questions and whoever don't want to answer the question gonna have to take a shot so it starts off real cute like take a shot if you f somebody on this trip and y'all people was taking shots i'm like where were y'all where did y'all find the time to do this i mean obviously blondie found the time to do it but like when did everybody else find the time to do it everybody took a shot but me and i was like huh like what am i missing here like what are y'all really getting up to like oh but they did go out to that party though 
and le left me and Sonic out. So maybe that's when they all got busy. I don't really know. So we're just asking questions. We're laughing about it. Like we're having a good time or whatever. And then Twitter ends up asking me. She's like, um. How, so Chessa, how do you really feel about all of us? Or take a shot. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like I ended up saying something like, oh, like y'all cool or whatever. Like, what do you mean? Like y'all are cool. Like. I don't really know y'all like that. And she's like, she starts pressing a little bit. And she's like, no, like, I know that we had a lot going on. Like, I know you have more of an opinion of us than that. Like, you, um, you obviously be feeling some type of way. Like, you've been real distant on this trip. Um, and I know you don't know us like that. And so I don't really tell us too much about you, Miss Mysterious. So, like, how are you feeling about us? And I didn't really like how she was pressing me, y'all. So I decided to be petty just like her. And I ended up saying, you know what? And I took a shot. Because what I wasn't going to do is sit here and give you what you want and tell y'all, tell you that I don't like you hoes because it's clearly self-explanatory. But I'm also not going to like sit here and be a b and say like I like y'all when I really don't. So I took a shot and when I took the shot, like I saw her whole face change. She did not expect me to do that. She did not like that I did that. And the other girls didn't really care, I don't think, because they, they just kind of like laughed and like was like, okay, next question. But Squidward, she was real, she felt real tried by that. Like she really did not like that. So I don't care. Why are you asking me a, a obvious ass question trying to play with me like Dumb. Obviously we were all pretty lit at this point and Blondie ends up turning to Squidward and she's like I, I can answer your question on how I feel about you And she was like I feel like you a fake And you don't know how to talk to your friends So We all just kind of looking like Kind of shocked that she just said that because they already had made up and got over that little situation. So we were all just kind of taken aback that she even took it there. And Squidward turns to her and she's like, Oh what, now you a victim when you the one who was messing with the dude that I brought? Like, you broke the girl code, so we should really like get into that. Like, you don't really want to take it there with me. So they start going back and forth and y'all, they start screaming at each other. I don't know if, I don't remember if anybody like threw a drink or something, but they start like causing a whole scene in this bar and it's a nice bar too, y'all. And like, they did not play that. They literally kicked us out of the bar and we had to take two separate Ubers to separate the girls. Like it was giving bad girls club, literally. The baddies going back to the baddie house. Like, I just knew when we got to that house, was gonna go down. Squidward's kind of going to her room and she's like, You can go sleep in that other room. Like, I'm done talking to you. Obviously, you let the liquor get to your head. I really should have beat you and that weird ass when I found out and I spared you. So, you really might want to leave me alone. And y'all, when she said you and that weird, I was thinking she was talking about Rando, like just on some like talking her big dog, like aggressive, because I didn't think she could be talking about me. I didn't think she could be talking about anybody else. Like she didn't mention anybody else when it came to this like situation. So I'm just like, damn, like she just tried you up girl. She just said she should have beat your ass. Like you really finna, cause you know, me personally, me personally, I wouldn't take that. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so Rando or not Rando, um, Blondie ends up like cussing. She's like, fuck up, like fuck up. And then she's like, I'm sleeping in this room. I don't give what you telling me. I'm not going in that room. Cause I guess that room was like an ugly one or like the bed was small. I don't know. Like they did not want that room. They would rather share a room than go have those separate rooms. Cause that room was just, I guess not giving. So she's like, you gonna have to put me out of the room or whatever. And I don't know if Sonic or Cheapskate was the one that went and mediated that. I guess they argued like sisters all the time. I guess they had like situations like that often. I don't know. Like that's very weird to me. But they ended up like mediating that too. And they ended up sleeping in the same room again that same night. So the next day was supposed to be the last day. So this is when all hell really broke loose. Sometime in the morning, I don't know if... Like Squidward had went through Blondie's phone or if Squidward and Blondie were just like on like looking both at her phone I don't really know what happened because I wasn't in there obviously because I don't sleep in there But we got woken up to some more ruckus and them going back and forth and Like just a screaming fight or whatever. So we end up going all that we have literal like crust like eye boogers still like I still got eye boogers I got morning breath like why are y'all arguing this early in the morning? Nobody has made breakfast. What is going on? Why are you hoes fighting y'all y'all? not y'all when y'all hungry so i'm like what y'all got going on so they're screaming at each other and squidward's like at this point we gonna have to fight like you just keep trying me like we just gonna have to fight so uh blondie's like girl you tripping like she's not trying to fight her i don't know if she's scared of her or what but she's like i'm not gonna fight you like get the out of my face and like squidward is following blondie around blondie is like walking like talking her shit, but she's walking away like 
keep walking like away from her and Squidward keeps following her getting up in her face like like I'm about to I'm about to swing on you like I'm about to fight you we all walk in and we're like what's going on and Squidward is screaming and apparently she had caught Randall and Blondie still texting after she said she was gonna stop talking to him and I guess Squidward was teeing up about that still. Like these girls were boy crazy. Like I don't know why they didn't have nothing better to, to do or talk about but they started teeing up about that. Squidward ends up swinging on Blondie and they start fighting and they end up accidentally hitting Sonic. Now y'all, yeah, Sonic is a girl that I said was a pretty good friend to me but she was a hot head like she wasn't really nobody to play with for real. And when she got hit accidentally, she started fighting. Like. <laughs> Somebody swung and it hit Sonic and Sonic started swinging like so they're all three fighting now So me and Cheapskate go to try to break up the fight and like Squidward is I'm not gonna lie Squidward is beating Blondie's ass Like I don't know if Blondie didn't want to fight because she can't I don't know but like they're fighting and then like I would say Sonic only like swung a couple times like it wasn't like she fought the whole time with them she got off of them and like she was mad she walked away for a second and then like i'm trying to break it up or whatever and like they get separated for a second and squidward is like i don't know why you think you safe like i want your head too because you knew the whole time <laughs> so i'm looking like oh oh i know the whole time what you mean? I'm like on some like y'all, this is not my fight. It wasn't like I was scared or nothing like that, but like I was not about to fight over no dumb shit like this. So I was just kind of like, what is you talking about? And she was like, don't play stupid with me, ho. Like you, um, she was like, I saw the messages and apparently she had saw some messages where in the messages between Blondie and Rando, Blondie was like, my heart dropped when Chessa walked in because I thought that that was, what's the name or whatever. She was like, I thought um, Squidward was walking in on us and Rando was like laughing about it. Like they had made a comment about how they seen me, but that they don't think I saw. And she was like saying in the messages how she doubted I was going to say something because Squidward was like, she was talking about she doubted you going to go back and tell me because I'm not your friend. That just shows you that what type of you are. You're not, you a lame ass, like you the type of to like, to, to be on some sneaky shit just like her. Like she just like teeing up on me as if I'm the one who was messing with her man. That's not even her man, like girl. And so I start getting mad because now you calling me all type of and and you're trying to argue with me when you're not my friend. Like you, that's not even my place to tell you no like that. And I didn't want to stir up no drama. And I didn't even know that Shorty saw me. So I thought I was in the clear. So I was like, what the f who is you talking to? Ho, you was not my friend. So I wasn't about to tell you nothing. You need to check your friend. That's your friend. You need to check her. So now we going back and forth and this girl swings on me. Stop it. Get some help. So she ends up hitting me and we start fighting. Boo, boo, boo. We going back and forth. I'm tussling with her. I probably, I probably hit her in her mouth four good times before a uh, cheapskate come and pull us off each other or whatever. So at this point I'm through. I am through. I'm done. Like I just got to tussling and y'all I had my real hair done and like even though like all of my hits connected on her like none of her hits like connected on me she had like a wad of my hair in her hands and like she pulled a chunk of my hair out like not a big chunk but like she pulled a little patch of my hair out and my scalp was like pounding it was hurting and I had broke my nails like I had got to tussling with this girl in the Airbnb and that to me was like so it was just so ghetto like why am I fighting you over your friend messing with your man behind your back or do you messing with behind your back i did nothing to you and you stole from me i really owed you an ass whooping for real for real so i don't even know what we talking about right now at this point i call my mama i'm crying i'm telling her i'm like these girls got to fight in and one of them ended up hitting me because i didn't tell her that i caught something with her and her friend because i was trying to stay out of it and i just beat this girl ass but i broke my nails and now my head is hurting and my mama like girl you need to come home she's like do you got the money for a flight and i'm like yes and it was discounted anyway so i was like planning to leave that night i was through and like when everybody got done fighting and everything and everybody went to their rooms and stuff i ended up going and packing up my stuff and y'all i caught the first flight out of panama city to atlanta that night i left that night i don't know i think i paid like a good amount so i think i paid the rest of the money in my damn bank account to get out of there early because i already had the flight for the next day but I wanted to leave then. I, I didn't know. And that flight, I was supposed to ride back with Sonic and stuff. And I decided in this moment that I ended up fighting her friend. That I was no longer going to be friends with Sonic. Because, like, yeah, I get it. Your friend's the one that's weird. But you're the one who brought me around these girls. You're the one who allowed all of this to occur. And you were supposed to, like, it was your job to make sure I feel comfortable around your people. Because you invited me here. That's just what I believe in. That's what I would have done. I wouldn't have let none of my homegirls do none of this with my other friend that wasn't in this group. Like, I wouldn't have let all of that went down for one. Like, I'm just not that type of 
regardless but for you to like fight your own friends and then go back in your room mad and let your friend fight me you crazy as hell for that so i ended up cutting off sonic well i ended up leaving that night and nobody really knew i left i took an uber to the airport i was like crying angry like y'all i put my sunnies on i put my hair in like a messy bun and like i had a not a missing patch or nothing but like like you couldn't notice it but like when i really went and looked like i spread i spread it my hair and i saw like there were some hairs missing and like that part of my head was like sore for a week y'all I literally took that flight home and when I got home um like the next day Sonic was blowing up my phone like where are you where are you all your stuff is gone where did you go and I told her I left y'all like she was blowing up my phone saying she was sorry and that she didn't know that she fought me because she went to the room and I'm like girl you heard all that ruckus you heard me screaming you heard us screaming you didn't come out you were too mad that they ended up accidentally swinging on you you did not like not protect me because I don't need nobody to protect me but you allowed this to go on and these are your people like I just can't with that so i ended up cutting her off and me and her ended up like going back and forth for like a week she kept texting my phone on some like i was wrong for cutting her off over that because it wasn't really her fault but it was i don't care i stand on it to this day i don't fuck you i don't i feel like y'all can tell me if i was wrong for cutting her off but i feel like these are your type of girls these are a reflection your friends are a reflection of you at this point and you should have never let that girl try to like one up on me or like square up on me over that shit. so and I, I had to beat your friend ass and yo actually got beat too lucky for even bringing me on this dumb ass trip. So yeah, y'all, that's the end of this story. Um, it took a long time after that situation for me to go on another girl's trip. And I have another trip story time that's even crazier if y'all want that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Comment other videos that you guys want to see from me. Turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when I post a video. Follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below. Also, follow me on Instagram um, at Chessa La Morena. Like I said, if I find fighting videos for subscriber story times, I'm going to put them on my story. And it's only up for a few days because I put a highlight. Or if I find my fight videos or if I find anything I just feel like I can't put on these story time videos on YouTube, they go on my Instagram. Um, I just posted a new picture today, so go like that. And if you a real one, comment under my new picture and say, came from your YouTube video with a heart. And just go show love on my Instagram and follow my, oh, I lied. My link tree has my old TikTok account. I still have that TikTok account. I'm just not able to get into it because of two-step verification. I ended up changing my phone number before I changed the phone number for my TikTok. And that was the only way I could get in to my TikTok account. So now I'm locked out of my TikTok account that has almost 50 50K. Y'all already know I lost a TikTok account that had 1.1 million. Then I got locked out of my 40K one. So now I have a third TikTok account that I just made. It's Chessa Morena. Please go follow it, show love. I'm gonna be posting loyalty tests on there very soon. I might drop one tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. Sorry this video was a little delayed. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.